Cats Kids Hello. So today I will be doing my monthly favorites for the month of July. So I have a ton of products here and I have a few more products at my table and I would love to show them to you. If you haven't, by the way, joined at my previous giveaway or if you haven't joined my giveaway at my previous video, then I urge you to join. Click the link down below and go there after you watch this video. But yeah, so if you would like to know my favorite products for the month of July, then please stay tuned. So the first product is this. I'm going to start with the hair products, by the way. This is the Batiste Dry Shampoo Double XL Volume. I got this from Makeup Hub, and this is a really, really good product. I had one before that was the hint of color. Not really sure what that is, but yeah, it gives your hair a hint of color. It's not that noticeable when you put it on your hair. This one, however, is very, very noticeable. It looks like you placed a ton of baby powder in your hair, but it works like crazy. It gives your hair that that oomph that you really wanted. It's a very your hair will be very easy to style when you when you put this on your hair. It's just awesome. I I, I love this one. It's, moving on to skincare products, I have the Saint Ives Blem Saint Lala Saint Ives Blemish Control Green Tea Scrub. Before I was a fan of the apricot scrub, but now the sales rep and my best friend also recommended this. And I was, if you, if you read my previous favorite favorites post, I was experiencing a lot of break breakouts, and this for some reason got rid of them all. Why doubt that? It's a product of Saint Ives, but yeah, I got rid of most of my bumps. I still have some, but it's just a miracle product for me. I love it then another product another skincare product is the Olay Aquaction long lasting hydration gel this is how it looks like it's just a really really goopy gel it's like you know flubber blue flubber in its arm if you watch that movie I haven't but I just saw how it looks like it's not weird but yeah so this is a really hydrating product I saw this from Miss TBJ's and Mr. Martha's blog post and she was raving about this one and she posted that this was already available in the Philippines. I'm running out of breath. So I hurried to the department store and I found out that this was a bit expensive but it was worth it because I got this really tiny sleeping mask which also works but I will get to that later. But I really liked it and it's just it's really good. You can use this underneath your makeup. It won't be too heavy and yeah it's just a very good moisturizing product. This is the Two Cool for School Pumpkin Pumpkin <laughs> Pumpkin Sleeping Mask. This is actually something that Pumpkin Sleeping Pack actually. This is actually something that I got oh this is actually something that I got from I think that was the June May May BDJ box. I I didn't think that I would like this one actually and not until I tried this sleeping bag that I got from this one and then I thought that maybe it would this one will be something that is similar and then I read somewhere that you don't need a moisturizer when you use this and my golly when I use this the morning I wake the morning after it's just oh my god I'm so 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 impressed with this one my skin never felt softer and I think that also helped in getting rid of those bumps so love that then another skincare product, if you call this a skincare product or a beauty related product, this is the e.l.f. e.l.f.? Sorry. This is the Elgana Strawberry Vanilla Lip Scrub. I have raved about this product uh, recently. This was my weekly raves number 5. This is uh, this was actually their June gift of purchase, gift with purchase I believe, but this is 168 pesos to those who are asking. And yeah, this is just a really good lip scrub. I don't believe in lip scrubs before, but then I tried this one and it's just, it's just, yeah, it, it's not abrasive, but it works. Then moving on to makeup products, I've rediscovered, rediscovered, rediscovered something. This is the Fairy Drops BB Cream. I'm not really sure what shade this is and it's this is almost empty. It's why I rediscovered it because I'm actually using some of the face products that I've had and I don't 
use anymore so I've been using this and it's almost empty and as you can see it's really mess mess yeah it's really messy and I cannot talk so it doesn't have the sponge anymore I actually took it out back when it was new so I love this it has a really good coverage it does not have SPF so you won't get that white cast I do have a re review of this one I'm going to link it down below if you're interested then moving on to concealer, I got this finally. This is actually, this is the Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch Highlighting Concealer. It's just a really good uh, concealer. It's thick, yet it does not uh, cake up or something like that. It has a really good coverage. This was my favorite concealer back then when I was starting to vlog. I got it before and settled this cosmetic and I got this from Bon Marsh I believe they have they've been restocking this one quite often so you could get it from there so I love this moving on to eye products I have been loving this one this is the sorry about that this is the Eliana lip and cheek cream color in diva this is a copper bronze lip and cheek product actually but I use this as a cream shadow as you can see it's as a neutral cream uh neutral cream eyeshadow or cheek or lip lip color but yeah as i mentioned i prefer to use it as a cream shadow and then i top it with this one this is actually their may gift of purchase I'm not really sure but this is their this is the aliana multi-purpose powder in brilliance so this is how it looks like it has a sifter and I actually take it off because the, the product is really pigmented. It's, it's so packed. So I take this off. And it's not that messy. So even if I just, you know, if I dip my brush, it won't be that, you know, it won't cost a lot of, or it won't create a lot of mess. So another eye product. Okay, so I'm sorry if I moved. I had to check if the camera is still recording. But yeah, so another eye product that I have been loving is the Heroin Make Quick Eyebrow Pencil. This one is so thin. It is so fine. I'm actually afraid to use this sometimes because I'm scared that I'm going to break it. But that is how thin that is. And I have been using this quite a lot lately. But it's not the one that I use to fill in my brows now. But for a natural look, this works beautifully so it's the it's i mentioned it's the one that i have been using and it just works really well and it lasts for a really long time so yeah loving that then moving on to another heroin make product this is the heroin make impact frame curl mascara this one is a really weird wand it has a comb below and a brush at the top this one does not really give your lashes that really that oomph. It's not really that volumizing, but it's really very, very waterproof. It's the most waterproof mascara that I have ever tried. It's more waterproof than Majolica Majorica. They're real. It's it's very very waterproof. It's it's much proof. It's waterproof. It's so you can just you can just layer this with I don't know with a volumizing mascara it's more lengthening so you, so you can put this on top of your volumizing mascara and your lashes or your mascara won't budge so love this one one this is another eye product this is the heroin make impact liquid eyeliner this is the bomb when it comes to staying power this is I don't know it's it stays longer than K palette and I thought that that was the bomb when it comes to longevity but this one I know it's kind of I know that this is really thick because I haven't really studied it yet. I mean, I haven't used a brush tip applicator when it comes to applying my um, winged liner or eyeliner, but it's it's matte. It's the most matte black eyeliner I have ever seen, and it doesn't budge. It's just you gotta have this. So, so moving on to cheap products. I have been loving the Elgana Pressed Mineral Blush Duo in Kitten and Peach Passion. So this is Kitten and this is Peach Passion. I already did a review of this one. So this is Peach Passion and this is Kitten. I love this. It's, it's a very convenient product if you are traveling. At least you will have two choices to 
you know, two selections or two options. And it's, it's actually very cheap. It, this is only for 450. Or, yeah, 450 pesos. And you gotta love the packaging. And it has a decent size mirror, which I hope I'm not like blah, 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 blinding you. So, yeah. So, and that, and I cannot talk. So, the next product that I have been loving is the Maybelline Master Highlight by Face Studio. This is just the, the nude highlighter. I love this one because it's just, it's very natural. I don't know if you can see that, but it just gives you that beautiful glow. It gives your face just, you know, that natural luminous, luminosity. So, oops. So, I love that. Then moving on to lip colors, I have two. I already raved about this one in my previous review. These are the Revlon Color Stay Moisture Stain Lippies. I have it, I have one in Barcelona Nights and I have the Persian Passion. Yeah, so the one that I'm wearing is the Barcelona Nights. Yeah, this so this is the most beautiful lip paint or hybrid lip gloss lipstick color that I have ever laid eyes on so far. I mean, I know that these things are on, these things are so in right now, and these are, I don't know, these are just, I, I would, I would spend money just to get all shades. I know that that is quite a lot to say for the products, but these are really, really good. So if, if you, if you would ask me which one you should buy, the ones from this brand, this brand, or this brand, I would go with this one because this is the bomb. So for nail polish, I don't really have a favorite nail polish because I am not really I'm not really doing my nails recently because I have been having a lot of nail issues. So it's just it's just makeup tools. I have been loving the Eliana Mini Mini Fat Top Kabuki brush. It's the one that I have been I have been using for retouching recently so you can get this I believe in their website I'm not really sure how much but I'm going to link it down below so some random favorites I know I don't really do this but in my not really sure but some but some random favorites for my favorite youtuber I have been loving all of the videos of Anna Kana if you don't know her I discovered her in this um, get rid of it new video that actually went viral but yeah she's Filipino she's Asian she has a lot of yeah she has a lot of really good videos and I have been loving her a lot and favorite TV show or it's just a new black definitely but if if you're asking me for something that is actually going on or something that is actually playing right now then that would be I'm actually a fan of procedural cop shows so this is kind of something that will maybe shock you. I like Brazilian Niles for some reason. So, or per, no, Perception. Yeah, Perception. So, um, yeah, so those are all of my favorites. I'm kind of in a hurry because I think that this took a lot of your time already. I'm trying to limit my, my videos into... I'm trying to squeeze them. So, I'm going to stop babbling now. Join my giveaway. Visit my blog. Follow me on all of my social media sites. I'm going to stop now. Bye-bye. Love you. Hello, welcome to another video here at yet. Blah, 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 blah.